Welcome artists, it's week 10. So what we're doing today is we are going to create a pictograph or a message on a large piece of white paper. The bigger you can get, a yes, it's crayon resist, again, with watercolor, I know, but hope most people have those supplies. So in your resources, you see all these pages um, with symbols. So this one we're gonna start with, the one that says Native American Symbols Handout, and I'm gonna tell a story. So I like, first of all, I love the sunshine. So I'm gonna put a sunshine right in the middle. And you can use whatever colors you want. You saw what supplies we needed. And these are actual Native American symbols that have been used by all tribes. But we're gonna talk more about the Chumash tribe. Push really hard because you're gonna end up painting over it and try to make your lines bold and thick. So there's my sun. That's one symbol. So our theme is a little bit, what are you thankful for? So I'm, I'm, you can tell a story or you can just have symbols of things you're thankful for. So I'm going to, I love to camp. So I'm gonna to try to draw this teepee right here. I see it's two, two uh, triangles. And I'm gonna switch colors. You can use whatever colors you like. And you don't wanna fill up the space too much because the second part of the assignment, the week after Thanksgiving, we are going to be adding some other symbols. So probably just like five. And again, giving thanks since it's that time of the year. Bold, thick crayon or oil pastel lines, either one's fine. And kind of just think about like what either things you're thankful for or tell a little bit of a story. I wouldn't use any more than like seven. Now I like this one too, this happy symbol. So I see it's two circles with some lines on the side. So I'm gonna use that too. I'm just gonna go ahead and use some colors that I like. So I'm gonna do a circle. I'm gonna make sure that line is super thick and bold. And hopefully you had a chance to watch the video in the first section and it tells about the Native American tribe that we're studying the pictographs, the petroglyphs, and also in the resources, there's lots of pictures and, and uh, um, tools you're going to want to use for this project. So I've got three. I'll be back. So you'll notice that I went ahead and added a little bit of a second color to some of these just to make them more interesting. You can do that. Now we're kind of patterning this project after Native American artist, Mitchell Robles. And he actually has Chumash heritage in his family. And he used a lot of blues and terracotta, which are kind of browns and reds, brownish red. So you're welcome to do that. You're welcome to use the more traditional colors if you want to. Now, what, another thing we're kind of paying attention to is balance and rhythm and variety. So if you'll notice, I have it's pretty equally distributed. They're all similar in size, even though the sun is the biggest. So I think I'm gonna add just one more kind of over in this corner. It's kind of small. So I think another thing that makes me happy is, you know, we get together. This week meets friendship, by the way. Camp, sun, happy. And then another one I really like, well, I like fish, and this kind of represents bounty and harvest, which is also kind of Thanksgiving time. So I'm gonna draw this fish symbol, but I'm not going to draw it too big, simply because um, I wanna have a little bit of a variety in my design. So this is just that basic fish. So this means mini fish or you know bounty, good crops. And these are just, again, Native American symbols. You're gonna add some more traditional Chumash symbols on part two, which will be after Thanksgiving. So that's all, probably five to seven, have a balance, kind of rhythm, a variety. You don't wanna use the same symbol more than once. And our next step is painting. So get those supplies ready. Now we're painting, and I know, I know, watercolors again. You can use a bigger brush or the regular brush that comes with your watercolor set. Uh, usually watercolor brushes have that round end to them. They're more rounded and the bristles are softer. Not too much water. 
extra. Remember, wipe on your newspaper or a paper towel. So you can use whatever colors you want. And what you're going to do, you saw the sample in the beginning of the video of the project. You wanna paint straight over, because it is 100% um, water resistant, crayon is, or oil pastel. And you're just kind of doing um, blobs of color, but you're still thinking of balance and rhythm and variety. You wanna use probably at least five colors. Do you wanna have a theme? Or are you going to just use a little bit of everything? See how I'm just putting that red, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, right next to, and I didn't have watercolor paper, so I know most of you don't either, so just don't use too much water. So I'll, the Native Americans, many Native American tribes, and tribes all over the world, actually, they would write messages on stone. So that's why we have so much information still or things that we think we know about some of these ancient tribes. So the Chumash people, again, they lived in California and they were there, uh, they've been there for thousands of years. And there's a lot of what they call petroglyphs or symbols, or they're like a pictograph. There's a lot of them in caves that are still there today in California. So hopefully, again, like I said, you got to watch that video, so you got to see some examples of real Chumash art. There's also some examples in the resources section for this week's lesson. Okay, notice how, again, my symbols are kind of balanced. There's a variety, I didn't repeat them. And also, I had a kind of a little bit of a rhythm. They're kind of evenly spaced and balanced. And then I did the same thing with my color. I saw that I put yellow here, so I didn't just do yellow once. I put a little bit down in the corner, a little bit over here. It's okay if your colors overlap. Again, you're telling a story of thanks using the Native American symbol handout. Next time on part two, we're gonna add some mixed media techniques with some more symbols. So have fun, be thankful, and enjoy time with the um, the people in your in your world next week. Bye bye.